Hype Train. Good morning, everybody. Sergeant Story with the nine months of subbing. Doc Mackey with the seven months of subbing. Sammy with the seven months of subbing. And Sergeant Story backing it up with five gifted subs. Let's go. What is up this morning, everyone? How are we doing? Good morning. Good morning. Thank you, Sergeant Story. Hope you had a great weekend. Hope everyone's doing well. We're going to keep Shaky Brad up there for a minute because uh, we didn't get to see him enough uh, while his gifted subs were running through. Good morning. Good morning. How are y'all? Hype train. Psychic Macaroni, six months of subbing. Hoy, ahoy, Poloy. How are we doing this morning? Feels like Monday. It is Baltimore week. Great Scott with the sub. Thank you so much. Who is ready for the Baltimore pin show? We got ink going already this morning. It's going to be a good day. Already got inky hands. I'll take it. I'll take it. <clears throat> good morning. Good morning, love your faces. I'm not ready by any means, but still hyped. Yeah, I'm already like, I'm having um, planning regrets. It's like, I'm so hyped that I was like, mm, maybe I should have come Thursday afternoon. Seeing that I won't get there till like three o'clock on, on Friday, but it's fine. Good morning, Murdoch. Good morning, Penman Meets Inc. Hopefully everyone's doing well. Temporally, I've received the Axel. I'm loving having such a smooth, extra fun, and the weight difference on the titanium makes it lovely to hold. Yeah, that's a good setup. It's a good setup. Glad you're liking it temporally. Received the Spoke Icon Poly Prototype. Love it. Nice. Got my new Saffron Eco T this morning. That's a cool. That's a cool pen. I can't decide if I'm gonna, I'm gonna get one for myself. I think I, I think I might have ordered some for giveaway for like the for the blog or something. I don't know that I'm gonna keep one for myself. I think I did. I can't remember. I have a, a, t a small, small unboxing today to do. Um, <clears throat> Toby's here. He's uh, currently nesting with one of his toys, so he's just walking around in circles right now with this toy in his mouth. So he's ready to rock. He's already been to the shipping department this morning. We had a manager's meeting uh, this morning from the shipping department. Good morning, Glyph. How are you? <clears throat> um, I did see your email, and I need to reply to that. I need to get that stuff ordered. So I might, I'll might i do that this week for sure. So before I go. Also, who's ever suggested the modified feed for shimmering? Because I now have a modified Twisby that works great for my shimmering. That's a very smart thing. And I never really thought about that. That's really good. Thanks, Brad, for my great icon white. I saw your pictures. It looks so cool. Just like, yeah, that's pretty sick. Pretty slick. Picked up some octro octopus petrol buffalo based on you showing it the other day, and it's even better in person. Isn't it good, Tam Servo? Like that's gonna be like a that's gonna be like already towards like the top of the rotation, I think, for me. So that's kind of what I'm I'm feeling about that ink. I left it in the other room. Um, yeah, in my Twisby. I actually, I have a I was like kind of pseudo packing, um, so I have a bunch of I have a bunch of stuff in the other room. So a lot of a, a lot of it's not here. Your back is finally starting to build better. Good, 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 good. That's that's rough stuff. I I don't envy envy that. I don't wish that on anyone. Octopus things are great. Love your review. Yeah, I'm I'm really enjoying them. Hope the shipping manager isn't being too hard on you. No, we had a short day today. We just had some um um I had some corrections I needed to make. He had pulled me aside, said uh said you need to fix some of these orders. So I needed to get on those this morning. So. He was making sure I was getting uh, getting all of my mistakes taken care of, which <sighs> I'm not perfect at the shipping. Verbal warning, yes, this is a verbal warning. Um, verbal warning was uh, please provide the shipping manager with extra treats as your penance. So I think that's what we did today. Miss Phil was really good this week. De La Soul. Thank you, Boss Baker, per Chris. I'm, um, I'm glad we finally have uh, the De La the De La archives available to stream so that's good such a boss he is a boss I'm, i keep looking around because he, he has not stopped walking yet <clears throat> uh three is the magic number gracious gracious joey mm -hmm. Woo! hype train in the house level three nice nice all right we've got a few things to do Glyph, you got held for saying huge package. 
I mean, they're clearly in the wrong stream. I got a hu huge package in the in the mail. Mm. So. Wow, we have got them coming today, chat, don't we? Trying to get all the bands going this morning. <clears throat> what a chick, 12 months of subbing. Let's go. Yeah, ball knock zone's fine. Huge package, not fine. I got a rather sizable item delivery last week. Was it one single item, Alan? Emperor Elephant. I don't know. I don't think I've seen that one. Do you ban them or send them to the Ball Knock Zone? Yeah, that should be where the bans are. Looks like Muji has a new no-name version of the Ball Knock pin now, too. Oh, shoot me a, if you if it's easy for you to get. I know the Muji, Muji stuff isn't easy for you to get. Um, can someone block Gracious Joey? For some reason, it's not working on my side. Thank you, Alan. I don't know why it's not working for me. I'm hitting the ban button, but it wasn't working. No alert today. Whack. <clears throat> Get composted. 37 months. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's see the elephant. If it will appear on my screen. What? I have not seen this. Can I embiggen this? I have never seen this, but that is sick. Look at the details in the tree. That would be a great pin to buy for a giveaway, Brad. It 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 would be. Whenever you want to buy it, just let me know, and we'll give it away. That is unbelievable. That I've never seen. I've never seen a pilot do such brightness. The elephant wrinkles are three D. That looks rad. Yeah, I like these bright red, orange, and uh, yellow colors up here. God, that is crazy. It's the Lion King on a pen. Yeah, that color is, like, even, like, there's, a like, a gradient in the sun, like, here. I don't normally see that stuff on here. Congratulations, Alan. That is ridiculous. <laughs> that is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <clears throat> Big Sadness here. Baltimore Pin Show not happening for me this weekend. Just back from Expedition to Antarctica with COVID. Oof. Sorry, Ali Mall. But number one, I hope you feel better. Number two, were you really in Antarctica and you didn't get me to send you anything? Really? Here I am. All I've ever wanted to do is to mail something to Antarctica. <laughs> well, next time. Next time you're in Antarctica, let me know. <laughs> well, I hope you feel better. I, I do appreciate you thinking about, um, thinking about the rest of us. COVID's still everywhere. Um, so, yeah. Like, uh, I hope you feel better. I hope you don't get too sick. And uh, that stinks. <laughs> That stinks. Next time on the moon, I'll make an order. Thank you, Tam Servo. I, see, Tam Servo is looking out. Tam Servo is looking out. All right. So, 
we're on it. All right, so before we get into stuff, here is this week's blog giveaway, which y'all really need to get on. You did take fountain pens? Nice. So I have this giveaway going. Um, y'all saw me unbox some of these fancy pants pens. Is everyone else still seeing the stream starting soon? Screen? No, we are not seeing that starting to start. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'd hit refresh or something. <clears throat> yeah, we're we're way past the stream starting. Biscuits and gravy. All right, so we have a um, we have one of those awesome giveaways that I was sent the whole box of these amazing pins. So this is the first one out of this. So I need a name for this uh, batch of giveaways. I don't know what to call it. The fancy box of giveaways. I came because your name's clever. Nice. Well, hopefully you stay and enjoy the enjoy the uh, the silly pen talk that we have. Like we literally just talk about pens. I mean, plus your name is Biscuits and Gravy 007, and that's pretty that's pretty cool. Oh, it's literal. It it is literal. <laughs> it is literal. That's funny. Um. So yeah, I'm giving away this Alox on the blog. Um. So yeah, go enter that. It's got a fine steel nib. It is a sweet pen. Sweet, sweet, sweet pen. All right. <clears throat> All right, so today we're going to unbox some stuff from Jet Pens. Um, I got that Orens that Slumberland Studio got me to buy. Uh, pen enabled me. <laughs> Penedict Arnold. That's funny. <clears throat> Um, we can talk about the Baltimore Pen Show if everyone's ready to do that. We'll be doing like uh, we'll do Baltimore Pen Show prep on Thursday probably. Um, we're not gonna go too long today. I am exhausted. I did not sleep well last night. Um, so yeah, I'm just like kind of fighting it this morning a little bit, but like this is fun. This this gives me energy right until I don't have energy. I'll just be like. <laughs> Um, I have a fun giveaway, I promised y'all from last Thursday's shipping stream, which everyone forgot to remind me at the end of the shipping stream what to do at the end of the shipping stream, but I was shipping this morning, so I remembered myself <clears throat> to do it. Um, after receiving my Icon Poly, I can see myself going down the Icon rabbit hole, I'll be placing that order soon. God, they're kind of addictive. They're fun. Yay, remembering. So yeah, so if you weren't on the shipping stream on Thursday... I promised a spoke uh, giveaway item, so I grabbed an item um, to give away. We'll do that later on the blog. I still have chaos giveaways uh, to go. Come on, Brad, we're obsessed with the poly icon. We should call it the Pollyanna. Biscuits and gravy, appreciate the follow. Thank you so much. Why are my alerts so quiet? Mm. Oh man, this giveaway. Which giveaway? The Diplomat, e Diplomat Elox. <laughs> Icons are addictive. Got noticed you shipped it today. Are you getting more sleeves and grips soon? Um, that's a good question. I need to verify. I, I'm not sure right offhand. I know we're out of black knurled grips. Sergeant Story with the gifted sub to Biscuits and Gravy. Welcome, Biscuits and Gravy. Thank you, Sergeant Story. I appreciate that. Biscuits and Gravy, enjoy your emotes. You'll see my dog, Toby. He's over here goofing off with his toy. Hi. What's up? Oh, we did have um, the shipping manager was uh, watching me this morning. They weren't even listed on your site anymore. Which, which ones, Guinness? What, specifically? Like, there's a few specifics we are 100% out of, but we have a lot in stock, so I'm curious um, what you mean. Got your Elox entries in? The sleeves and the grips, they should be. You should be able to pick them out when you order an icon. Are there specific ones you're asking about? Let me know that. Mm. 
You wanted them separately? Yeah, you should be able to buy them separately. Is that not listed either? All right, you're gonna make me look now because I just filled an order this morning that had separate parts in it. Okay, let me double check. All right, here's the shipping manager. He's gonna get on me. This was this morning's like, hey, are you working? <laughs> Jay Crankin with the gifted sub. Thank you so much, Jay Crankin. I really, really appreciate you. That is awesome. All right. Um, now I'm curious about this spoke stuff. Let me look at this, and then we're going to get to this jet pins unboxing real quick. I didn't get too much. Yeah, sorry. All your dogs are now awake. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, Ali Mall. Oh, I'm sorry, Guinness. If you go on the icon page and you scroll over to page two, they're listed there. So you can pick the shapes and the colors of things that you want um, from this page. Whoops, high hand. <clears throat> so like the sleeves, you can get the colors here. And the grips, the different shapes of grips. It's on the last page. Nibs. Uh, different grip shapes. Here. So for all your different colors, things like that. So there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you, Guinness. Maybe it should be under there, but since it's just a specific icon fitting, although now it's for the poly, maybe we should put it there. Makes sense. <clears throat> Looking forward to picking up my icon in Baltimore. So I have your pen... And I have Evan's grip. Evan, did you know you paid for shipping, UPS shipping on that order, Evan, that I refunded? <laughs> You're welcome, Guinness. My lovely new icon is one of my few clipless fountain pens. I use it with a pen well since I cannot clip it to myself. Maybe you need you need like a, uh, a fanny pack pen well is what we all need. Uh, we'll, get da, <laughs> we'll get Dan right on that. <laughs> We need fanny pack pinwells. Can I still order an icon for BWI delivery? Yes. All the way through Thursday. Thursday morning. You didn't see a ref an option not to? Interesting. Maybe it's probably... Hmm... All right, well, yeah, just making sure, making sure I got you. Schmevelin with the gifted subs, let's go. <coughs> Brad judged something in the mail for you today for the icebox. Nice, nice. I probably won't get it till I get back. We'll see. Schmevelin with the gifted subs, five gifted subs. Enjoy your new emotes. Give a shout out to Schmevelin. Say thanks. Thanks for being awesome, Schmevelin. Uh, when am I going to see Schmevelin on the road? Gonna see Schmevelin sometime soon. Didn't make it to LA this year. We'll have to figure it out. <clears throat> All right, let's get to the unboxing. What is happening? <laughs> Alan with the 10 gifted subs. Let's go. Let's go. We'll let Shaky, we'll let Shaky Pen Gift run for, run for a minute here. Alan, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all these gifted subs. Y'all are out of hand this morning. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your borkings. Uh, enjoy this community. It's a bunch of fun people here. We like to have fun and talk about pens. It's kind of ridiculous when you say it out loud, but uh, if you're here, you understand it's not ridiculous whatsoever. It's really fun, really awesome. <clears throat> oh, well, while this is going, just uh, a follow-up. This is, this is only something I was following up. Y'all don't care. So I was talking about 
Um, my Aurora 88 Unica, right? Or the, the loaner, the traveling pen, whatever we're going to call this thing. And how when I inked it up with the Bungu Box Imperial Purple, just how wet it was. A wet of a writer. I was like, ah, I don't like this extra fine with this much ink. It was really, 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 like it wrote like a medium to me. So I was like, all right, if I'm taking this pen to Baltimore and using the, planning on using this pen a lot, as much as I love that purple ink, um, it's going to bug me with the line width. So let me see if it's like the nib or the ink. Um, so let me pick out like the driest ink that I have to ink this up with. So I put in Pelican Blue Black here and it changed everything. Like this pen is almost perfect now with the EF nib writing in an EF line. Um, so I'll show y'all real quick. I don't know how, since I uh, uninked or cleaned out the, the Bungle Box Purple, I don't know how, if I can, did I have a page where I wrote on there? Let me look. Okay, so yeah, there's one. I'll be able to show you here. Y'all probably can't tell that much of a difference. <laughs> so this is the Pelican Blue Black in the Aurora Extra Fine Nib. It's not like crazy fine, but it's much, 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 much more consistent than... I just thought this was almost like a gusher um, with the purple. Y'all probably can't tell as much difference as I could in just the feel and the amount of ink on the page was really kind of crazy. Um, I, it's like, to me, it's like half the line width, even though y'all probably can't, can't really tell. So it made a difference to me. And now it's like just an absolute joy to write with on this. Feel that way about Sailor Q Guru. Every pen is instantly better without ink. Yeah. Pelican Blue Black is is obviously hugely underrated because it's not available in the US. Um, because of some ink property that's that's like banned in California or something weird like that, right? So yes, at Slumberland Studio, inks matter. And I knew inks matter, but it was so egregious, I thought for sure it was the pen, right? I thought for sure it was the pen, but I put in a an ink that I knew was going to be dry just to see, hey, is it really going to be the ink? Um, and uh, it was, it was. So I'm having a much better time with the blue black. So I'll be using this in the uh, Plotter Mini 5 probably. Do you need to bring a box next time I visit the US? No, I have like two bottles. <laughs> All right, from Moldy Paper. Brad, I'm on the verge of a very fancy promotion. I want to treat myself to a fancy fountain pen as a gift to myself. Never had a gold nib pen before. Any recos? So, do you like um, do you like like the basic style barrels, or do you like the more colorful type barrels? Because like one of my favorite gold nib pen recommendations is the Pilot uh, Custom Nine Twelve, but it's basically just black and silver. Pretty colorful. So like colorful. You can look at like the Sailors and the Platinums um, as a good choice. Um, you know, if you have a budget you want to stick to, like in the $200 range, it's probably where you have to start for gold nibs. Um, you're looking at Platinums. If you go a little bit more than that, you're getting to some of the, like the really fun Sailors. Um, like in the, yeah, so like in the 200 range um, is you're probably looking at like Platinums. So I would probably look at like a Platinum with a medium gold nib, um, which is a wonderful, wonderful writing pen. Um, I love the 912, but it's just black and silver, right? You can't get any fun colors in that, but it has like 15 nib choices. Oh, L Kirby US, thank you. Pilot Custom 74, translucent colors, uh, less than $200. That's a fun pen. Let me get, let me show you, let me show you a couple real quick. This, 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 like this. 
these are kind of your probably your main options here. So this is the 74, Pilot Custom 74. They have teal. What do we have now? Teal. Like a burgundy red. There's like three colors. I apologize. I don't know all the other ones. So gold nib. I This is just like legitimately great pen. And it's like 170 bucks. So Merlot, stone blue. And uh, t this, this one is teal. So you can look at the review. I have a review on uh, the blog. This is the 74. <laughs> no, the 74s used to be under $100 not that long ago. And then you have something like the Platinum 3776. This is the Chartres Blue with the um, rhodium trim. There's different colors you can get in this pen. Um, it's like a white, a green, red, black, different things like that. Um... This is closer to $300, but this is the Pilot Custom 823. There's only three colors of this, two of which are easier to buy than this one. This is the clear one. You can get an amber one or you can get a smoke one, and they're they're almost $300, but they have a vacuum filling system, and they're just amazing riders, and it's like a bigger nib than the 74. Yeah, Lamy 2000 is a good option. So there's about $100 price difference between these two. And then you have the Sailors. This is a 1911S, so this is the smaller one. But they come in a lot of fun colors, but these are, again, closer to the $300 price. So what price is a Custom Heritage? $220, $230, something like that. So there you go. But yeah, I might, I might look at this as a choice, the 74 is a, that's a good idea. If you like the trans, not everyone likes the translucent barrels, right? And there, there are no solid color barrels in uh, the 74. They're all translucent. <clears throat> Custom Heritage SE, the swirly ones are a little more expensive, yes. All right, let's do an unboxing. <clears throat> Quick que question before I place this order, if I'm going to get a needle point. If you're gonna get a needle point on a, like a Bach nib, uh, excuse a needle point on a Yovo nib, probably fine. Most nib grinders don't like extra fines in the needle points because they like to have a little bit more on the on the sides right am i like i always thought like the finest nib would be easier to turn into the finest needle point but they generally prefer something wider to take it down am, am i incorrect in saying that hmm. yeah you want to do it a, you want to do a fine nib yep yep all right cool solved solved <clears throat> Franklin Christoph does a great needle point. All right, we have a small package here from Jet Pens. Toby, stop it. Um, I know I have a Pentel Orange in here, but I can't remember what else I added to this, so let's find out. Oh, let's uh, let's do this. Oh, I should get out the. Um, I need the packing list. We got to talk cartoons first, right? No loose nibs. One could never tell. All right, I'm not gonna look at what I order here. This looks like a new. new one here. All right, finally, I've done it. I've created the perfect pencil. Rotating lead. 
ergonomic grip, sliding lead sleeve, precision tip. My life's work is finally complete. Snap. It's supposed to do that, right? Ah. Ah. That's pretty good. That's all right. I'm all right with that one. I didn't see, at least this is a new one. That's like me. That's like me with the uh, Paniter Honeycomb. Hey, this is cool. This is a great new design, great new company, Snap. It's supposed to do that, right? It is not supposed to do that, chat, for the record. You want to dive? When's that new one supposed to come out? It's supposed to be this month, the two new colors. That's cool. Oh, I probably just like him did the lead. All right, never mind. All right, let's see what we got here. I will get another dive, like at least to give away. Okay, I did get, I thought I got a Twisby. I got the Saffron Twisby. This is the Eco T Saffron Fine. Let's take a look at this color. This is a pretty great color. Sticker hands, sorry. I put Panama brown in that Twisby and it's great. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, brown would be great for this. That's a really good color. Eco T, it's my favorite Eco. I like the, it's hard to see here, but it's got a little bit of a triangular grip section, but you can't really see it in this camera. Slightly, slightly molded. There you go. So that's the T difference with the triangle shape. Yeah, this is a color like when you're making pens, you're like, this isn't the first color you come up with. Um, but it's it's on the list. Like once you do it, you're like, oh yeah, that's pretty good. Is it school bus yellow? It's a shade or two darker. It's a little bit different than school bus yellow to me in person. On the camera, it's closer to school bus yellow in person i think it's like a little darker it's great very cool all right so we got that I re-stick all the things because I'm weird that way. All right, that's that. Let's see what else we got here. There it is. There it is. This is what we ordered. We'll test this out last. I'm gonna I'm gonna unbox everything first, then we'll go into this. Um, so this is the Orens Nero. 0.3 millimeters and it's a very interesting mechanism this box is great god what a nice box i would buy this i would buy this pencil like if i saw it on the shelf like just blindly because like that just looks cool like yes um this is a pretty expensive pencil it's around it's upper 20s i think it's like 26 27 28 dollars Something like that, or maybe lower 20s, I can't remember. I'll look in a minute. Um, we're gonna test this out, but this box is rad. I'm in. That made me like it better already. What is this? Oh, so the um, the Tombow Monograph um, ball points that I love so much, they are making a pencil now. So these are like really, really, really cheap. Not really cheap, but like inexpensive. I'll check out the price on here in just a second. But like less than $5, I think. 
They have a really long lead pipe, longer than most. We'll look at this in just a second as I uh, figure everything out in this box. Uh, forgot I ordered these. So we bought, uh, we have a bunch of give, this is all gonna be future giveaway stuff, chat. I wanted to get a look at this lilac and I bought the rollerball version, which is a little bit different, right? Just for something different, just for giveaway purposes, for playing around purposes. It's really sharp, isn't it? Really, 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 really good looking. Yeah, that feels so good. Yeah, it's uh, it's not as dark as I thought it would be. Do you see that there is a new Lamy Joy this year? I did. I think I might put that in the podcast for tomorrow because I am so happy about that, Evan. I'm going to actually write that down right now so I don't forget to do that because I want to talk about that because I think that is fantastic. So let me write that down. I'm waiting till I go to Germany this month to get the lilac there. That's super cool. That should be fun. Let me write that Lamy Joy down because I think that is worth discussing. <laughs> Bring back dark lilac ink, right? Oh, and a pretzel. That is key. That is key. All right, where's my podcast list? Podcast 554, Lamy Joy Red. Love it. Love to see that. Would like to have, would have liked a pastel live lavender safari. Um, hold that thought, pensive ponder, ponderer. You may not have to wait too long. All right, let's see what else we got. Did we get, I think we got petrol or something. Ooh, they sent me a freebie. I got a freebie with the petrol. Is this the, what is this? Where can I get the podcast? Um, go to penatic.com and you'll see a link, um, to the podcast. Or if someone wants to give the direct link. So we have an extra fine. Wow. Why did I buy an extra fine petrol? Thank you, strange camel. That's almost like I was planning on using it or something. Yo, that is sick. That's so good, chat. Hey, Dragon Drawer. Why is this nib blue? Yeah, it's really dark in a good way. And then I guess with the fountain pens, which they did this with the strawberries and cream, they don't tell you this, but like the first X amount of orders, they always test the nibs with blue ink. Yeah, but this looks like petrol blue. Maybe my eyes are just like deceiving me instead of standard blue. That's all. That's what I was, I was seeing a color that matched this. So they did this with the um, strawberries and cream for the first X number of orders they give out. Um, these sleeves, which is this kind of a, like a metallic color. You can see it on there. So yeah, that'll be great. Totally gonna have to give this away with this uh, sleeve. These are all blog giveaways. Future blog giveaways, probably. Really neat. So yeah, great color. The colors look awesome in person, by the way. I know. I, I'm shocked that they didn't bring out the ink. I mean, that's like just crazy opportunity, right? So yeah, maybe next week we'll do this on the blog or something like that. We'll see. All right, let's see what else we got. We got a, a lot of things in this little this little envelope. Is that it? All right, that's it.
Um, whoa. So we have a little Stology. Stology notebook. They did them uh, with some jet pins branding on there, so I wanted to get that. This is from Jet Pins. They are a sponsor of my website. I get a lot of this stuff for free. Not all of it though. I think I might have paid for all this stuff. I can't remember. I'm gonna have to go look. I'll show you that in one sec. So this is a really neat size, uh, A6, right? A6? Yeah, A6. Um, with the little Jet Pins logo on there. So, it's just a really good quality. Oh, look. Sticker. Jet Doe Christmas Elf. Nice. I would love to hear from actual Lamy representatives on their decision making. Me too, Bork Ben Bork. So yeah, I think literally I bought everything here for future blog giveaways. I know this is, this is, this is, this is, and then of course the two mechanical pencils are for me. So these will be for reviews. So there we go. That's what we got from Jet Pens. Got to see the two uh, AL colors, which are just glorious. That rubber band's gonna bug me. Um, the st Astology Notebooks. Hey, Lilium. Was the big uh, was the big ink bottle stamp used in the Octopus Fluids Petrol Buffalo Review a custom one? Yes. So I had a friend make me that stamp. Pack of Purple Plumes with the five gifted subs. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do a giveaway. Let's do a giveaway real quick, and then I'll test out the Orins. How's that sound? So we still have some Chaos giveaways, but I'm going to do the Spoke giveaway. So all of those go there. Thank you, Peck. This is great. This orange Kuratoga dive is new to me. Yeah, they did orange and green is what's supposed to come out this month. The orange one and the green one. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you again, Peck. That is really, really awesome of you to do. Let's do a giveaway. Oh, this will be what we're gonna do. We're gonna do like a shaky pin giveaway. So we're gonna give away a spoke pin, gunmetal, uh, classic gunmetal. So that's where it's Skogzy, what's up? So I'll be straight up with y'all. Sometimes I pull products, you know, little uh, little dings and dents things that I can't sell or don't feel comfortable selling but they can't just sit there, right? Like, I'm not even gonna tell you on these, some of these, like, they're so, I'm so particular. Brian hates me because I'm like very, very particular about, uh, ooh, look at that, look at that. Oh, I don't wanna sell that. So like, we have this pin here that I pulled to the side, which is just completely awesome and it needs a new home. So I'm gonna send it to one of y'all here. So this is the uh, Model 2, Classic gunmetal colorway. Got the uh, refill, which is the uh, the refill that's built around the the uh, Signo DX UMR 105, which is all it fits, right? <clears throat> we should QC a Visconti. Yeah. So this is what I told y'all on Thursday shipping stream. If y'all remind me, I'll get something from Spoke to give away to y'all. And no one reminded me, chat. No one reminded me, but I remembered because I love you. I remembered uh, this morning when I was back there in the shipping department. So, yeah, this is a great pen. This is probably the most popular colorway uh, of this pen. This and the, like the Lava Crush. And then, yeah, there we go. There we go. So let's uh, let's do this giveaway, and then we'll figure out about testing uh, this orange and this other pencil. So let me switch the scene real quick. All right, one second here. Toby's the dictator. That is true. I'm the hand of the dog. Of the dog tater. All right. Exclamation point raffle. 
anyone can enter. Anyone can win. You don't have to be a follower, a member, subscriber. You do not have to live in the United States. I ship worldwide thanks to the generosity of the people on this stream. You must be present to win. You must email me your shipping address to ship to. Them's the rules. They're easy. Type exclamation point raffle. That's all you need to know. Everything else is easy. AVL Marty, seven months of subbing. Let's go. You be in Baltimore this weekend? Yes, 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 Marty. I believe so. Marty, are you ever not at a pin show these days? I think that's probably the bigger question. All right, I need to... I'm going to go grab a different notebook. I want to test these pencils in. Be right back in two seconds. Enjoy the chair. I'll be right back, boss. All right, we back. Try to make as many as possible. Figured, figured. Uh, is penguins created? If I win, I am showering. Wow, y'all just want to give it to April? I feel like that's a win for all of us. <laughs> I feel that's a win for all of us if April wins. <laughs> how was, how was, um... How was your event at Drum Goals this weekend? Did it go well? All right, let's pick a winner. Pick a winner. Come on, Penguins Creative, let's go. <laughs> the alternate Penguins Creative, Miss G's Crafties. We're gonna have to get, I think we're gonna have to have like a 10 plus. We're gonna have to have Toby 10 plus winners. Oh my, I am shocked. It is unreal. I don't get it. I don't get it. I mean, like, just look at Thunder Viking, who's, like, done this so much. It is unbelievable. Yeah, we need some, like, lottery ticket uh, situa situations. Uh, all kinds of stuff. April may have won one of my giveaways, but wasn't there. Oof. Oof. Yeah, be sure to send the whole address this time. Now I have two addresses for you in the system. I'm going to figure out how to like delete that. So congratulations. Tell her she can collect her pen at the South Pole, right? <laughs> That's what you should do, Papa Lockin. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. The most prolific winner, gotta be, gotta be. Got to be it. Hey, can't win if you don't enter. All right, Oren's time. All right. So rigged, I know, right? All right, let me get this on here. I should ship this with this week. Um, you're at four. Yeah, do you even know how many um, you're at, Miss G's Crafties? It's, it's definitely like, probably like seven, six or seven. All right. Um, I should... Yeah, I'll be shipping this stuff out on Thursday. So you got time to get it in. Six or seven? Yeah. Um... We'll do another giveaway here in a minute, but I'm going to do these uh, this pencil testing first. All right. So 
So I wanted to get my, if I'm, I'm testing mechanical pencils, I wanted to get my little uh, engineering notebook here. Um, this is the right notepads one. Oh, was this the, was this the Tombow one? Should I write that down? If you're new here, this is what my handwriting looks like. Sometimes it's pretty sick. Oh, that's a good one. I like looking at my handwriting. Thanks, I was having a rough morning. This definitely cheered me up. Love it. Glad to do it. De La Soul, three is the magic number. I like looking at this. All right, All right so let's do, we got the Pentel Orens, and we're just gonna make Slumberland Studio mad by testing uh, this Tombow first. We're gonna take this stupid sticker off. That, I promise you. It's so satisfying to look at full, full pages of handwriting. Yeah, I, I kind of enjoy it. Even though it's mine, I'm like, eh, yeah, you did pretty good there, Brad. I know, right, Slumberland Studio? Do you have to go anytime this morning? I might slow roll this as long as humanly possible. Just kidding. Good shot. Sticker off club. Um, I do want to check one thing. Sorry, Slumberland Studio, I am going to do this. I'm not, promise I'm not slow, slow rolling you. I'm going to check the prices on these real quick, just so I can tell you all the information correctly. So give me a second here. Unless y'all know them offhand and I don't have to waste my time looking it up, but I'm already heading that way. So the Orens is $28.50. It's very expensive. So we're gonna see if we enjoy it $28.50 worth. And the monograph light, $3, $3. That's hard to beat, chat. Oh, wait, that's not the right color. Oh, wait, maybe not. That's the ballpoint. I picked the wrong button. Sorry, hold that thought. Let's see actually how much it is. <laughs> Let's do this correctly this time, Brad. Oh, still $3. Nice. Still $3. So that's these. One dog night, 39 months of subbing. Let's go. Let's go. $3 on these. This is the one I'm, I have in my hands right now because it's a dope yellow. $3 for that one. And then the orange. Go back to that. Orange 0.3 millimeter 2850. All right, so that's what we're working with here. That is a lot of months of subbing. We have some 50 plus. We have some 50 plus subbins in here, which is crazy to me. Is HB your preferred lead in mechanical pencils? Yes. I mean, I guess in wood case pencils too. But I do. I will scooch over to the H side. Um, a little bit. Generally speaking. Mechanical pencil leads, I'll stick with HBs. For wooden pencils, I, I actually don't mind going over to the um, H side a little bit. But, like, I mean, I kind of like them all. I, I won't use anything on the B side on a mechanical pencil. That's not my jam. God, this feels so good. I mean, it's really hard to beat for $3. You, like, you would expect some sacrifices. There's not. I mean, it's just rock solid. Spoke mechanical are fantastic. Thank you. Oh, does this, what's the deal here? Okay. What am I supposed to do here? This is Tombow. 
What am I supposed to do here? Are we twisting? We're twisting. Of course, Tombow. It has a twist eraser and it's $3, Chad. $3. What? This is a $3 pencil, Chad. And it's also a Tombow eraser, which is like one of the best. The eraser is a little bit wonky, um, just from a like a physics perspective, right? It's like in the center of this um, ring, right? So there's a lot of play. Let's see if we can get this in here. So there's a lot of side to side play for a soft eraser when it's really centered in this ring, but that's okay, it erases well. So that's just something I noticed, but again, $3, Chad. And it's a Tombow eraser, so you know it's gonna erase well. You can't beat that. So yeah, up, down, up, down. A little extra lead in there. Yeah, good grief. What an outstanding $3 pencil. This grip is great. It's a rubberized rubber texture with ridges. So yeah, I will rave about that one. All right, let's get into this Orens. Orens Nero. I want to call it the Orens Zero, right? That's a little bit, of, that's a tough, that's some tough marketing right there. Is it the Orens, Orens, Orens Zero is what I almost see. You know, it's the Orens Nero. I get it though, I get it though. All right. Fancy pants packaging, destructions. It messed up saying it, yeah. All right, so we have some visuals here. So we retract the pipe. Okay, I'm just seeing how, all right. So the idea of the Orens <laughs> metal lower plastic upper. It's hard to tell sometimes when that's black matte. So, metal grip, plastic top section. <laughs> okay, so the I so back to what I was gonna say. Sorry, I was just fidgeting with it. So the idea of this and the reason why you buy an O3 in this, or they even have an O2, which was a little extreme for me, is that you don't extend the lead past the pipe like this. I mean, technically you can, but that defeats the idea of the orange. So you want the lead to just be at the tip here and you use the tip to actually do the writing. And the tip kind of slides in and out um, as you press down and keeps the lead from breaking, right? It's this, this is a lead breakage proving, proofing system. So you would just take it like this, even though like aesthetically you don't see the lead coming out and you just start writing, right? And I'm trying to go fast right here just to show that like the, the pipe doesn't affect, um, affect the pencil. Orens Nero. Right, so it's faint because it's 0.3 millimeter. So yeah, heavy-handed pencil user, yeah. How scratchy does it feel? Not at all, because what they do is they taper, which I don't have a microscope, you probably can't see it, is they taper the end of the pipe, so where the pipe is not squared off like you would get in this pencil. And I don't know if you can be able to see any difference here, 
So this pipe on the top is squared off, right? This pipe on the bottom for the Orins is, it's almost like a chamfered edge, right? So you can see the lead sticking out just a little bit. So you wouldn't be able to use a pipe like this for this type of system because it would just tear up the paper, right? This is designed specifically to manage that. Right, so it's a little bit of a, it's a little bit of a mind melt to thinking about how to use the pencil with the lead not extended, right, is how you have to think about it. But if you're someone who needs to use a 0.2 or 0.3, you're gonna be so frustrated using a pencil like this because it will just be constantly breaking because it's so fragile. Like that's where something like this comes in handy. Like I don't need this for an 05 or an 07, right? And I think it would probably be a bad experience. But if you want like 03, like fine line drawing, like that seems to be kind of the jam. Right, and you can use a really light hand, like I'm barely touching it here. So you like, you don't have to press down to get the uh, lead to kind of, to go out. Right, you're not like forcing it or jamming it down. Good morning, all the hobbies. Right, you can use an extremely light hand. And the lead never misses, right? The, you're, when you're using this, it's kind of like auto pushing the lead um, to the page. Right, so you're like, I'll never have to like click, right? Um, but then like, I can write hard with it. Like you shouldn't, you should not be able to do that with a 0.3 millimeter lead, right? You can tell how hard and fast I'm writing there and it doesn't budge, right? So that's what the Orin sells you. Makes sense? Um, the pencil feels good. I'm a little let down at the price that we're not a full metal barrel for almost $30. Like we got, we got to go aluminum up here, Chad. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm certain this is plastic. <clears throat> Brad, you have to use Pentel Einstein or old stock leads to get automatic to work. What do you mean? I, um, I'm not tracking you. Yeah, this is pretty crazy. And your writing angle doesn't matter, right? You can hold it vertically. Like if you think you have to hold it vertically, it doesn't actually work as well. You gotta hold it to the side like your normal writing angle works. Uni LEDs will not go automatically. Why is that? That's kind of funny. <laughs> Must be something with the coating, interesting. Um, it works flawlessly. Sorry, dogs. Well, that's good because I like Pentel lead over all other leads any, anyway. All right. It's crazy smooth too, right? It's really good. Hey, Inky Longhorn. Like you don't, it feels like you're writing with the, the graphite. Not with, it doesn't feel like the metals like running across the page. I like 2B mechanical pencil leads. This might be good for that. Yeah. Like something for a softer lead. Um, yeah, it works. All right, so to it also has a re, a retractable pipe right like this this is a fixed pipe right this doesn't like this doesn't get protected anyway there's no way to draw excuse me draw in the pipe um this actually has a retractable pipe but you have to do it like that you have to push it down on the page so for safety reasons you can uh retract the pipe and then you just open it up and start writing That's crazy. Yeah, it works really well. 
it's not heavy. It's pretty light. God, is this grip even metal? Now I'm really confused. I want to unscrew this barrel. But I don't. This might not even be metal. This might be plastic. Is the whole thing plastic? Oh, this was the marketing. A special resin metal blend gives the Nero a reassuringly sturdy feel and comfortable weight that is neither too heavy or too light. That's why I'm having a tough time with this. It's Is it plastic or metal? The answer is both, which does not compute. <laughs> it do, that do, I, you're not alone, chat. That does not compute. But it feels good. You know, it's obviously lighter than something like a Rotring uh, 600. I think the barrel is the mix, but the grip is metal. You just made me taste my pencil. It does not taste like metal. The top is definitely plastic. I'm glad this wasn't on close up. What are we doing, chat? The barrel and grip section are made of one seamless piece. So, Alan, they can't, they're, the barrel and grip section are made of one single piece. This is really confusing, chat. Body material, plastic metal blend. That's a band name. This does not make sense. Then it says right here, grip material, plastic. I'm thoroughly confused. Nero 17G Retro is 22. They seem further apart than that, honestly. I don't have my... I mean, I know you're getting it off the site, but feel-wise, um, the 600 definitely has a density that you don't feel in here. And I guess that shows up in the weight. But you use the scale? Okay, good for you. Hell Yes. I will say, let me show you here, that it is um, it is balanced towards the grip, which is good, right? You have, your weight is down here. So that's good. It's great. But yeah, you can feel the weight down on the tip, which is, which is important, I think, for this, um, for this pencil. It's pretty wild. The plastic has metal impregnated in it. That's pretty much accurate. It's like a Japanese anime pencil or something like that. Yeah. All right. I like it. I wasn't sure I was going to like it. I mean, there's obviously more reviewing to come. I have tried Orenzas before that I have not enjoyed. Um, it's a... kind of break your brain type of situation, but I think it's pretty good. I will use it and I will, I will review this pencil. It is definitely worth reviewing. Let me put it back in here for now because that ain't going to happen for a couple weeks. All right. Pretty good. Pretty good. So what I'll have to like think about is what I would, would choose it over. Hey, Laura Clarice. I'll have to think about how and why I would use this pencil over uh, choosing it over, you know, like a Rotring or whatever. But it's, it's certainly good enough. Like my first, my first impressions are super positive. Like no negatives other than the price, honestly. Especially with the point three, right? That's, this is the reason why you buy this pencil. If we're talking to 05s, I'm probably never picking this up. Yep, shoot me an email or whatever. Always up for bugging or in person, either way. What's up, JD lady? Um, I've never gotten along well with the Delgard 
But again, I should probably try it a little bit more. <clears throat> I should probably... I should probably pick up a dull guard again. All right, let's do a chaos giveaway, chat. And then I'm going to wrap it up early. I am legitimately exhausted today. So we're going to do a short stream. I got a very busy week. We have the podcast tomorrow. We're streaming tomorrow. Then we're streaming Thursday. We'll finalize packing on Thursday for Baltimore. But let's do a giveaway before I jump out of here today. Let's see how many chaos pins we have left. It's not many. I know that. All right. Chaos. Chaos giveaways. All right. How many chaoses do we have left? Max writes a lot. We have, whoops, I'm showing y'all, but I'm not showing y'all. I'm showing Twitch there. Hi, Twitch. Um, we have four chaoses left, chat. We have four chaoses left. So we have these individually wrapped pens. I reach into the envelope, grab one, and send it to you. You get to open it up on your own. Boom. All right. So we might. Will we get through these this week? Maybe. Maybe. So one today, one tomorrow, two Thursday, something like that. All right, giveaway is open, exclamation point, raffle. Anyone can enter, anyone can win. I ship worldwide. Worldwide. Must be present to win, must email me your shipping address. <clears throat> week do, do, do. choose chaos is anyone streaming stationary bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. where is it where is it I am talking to myself the um my manager is not in here, so I'm allowed to talk to myself. I always like to check our tag, stationary journaling planning. Anyone? If I wanted to send something your way for a giveaway, how would we go about that? I will show you. There you go. Exclamation point PO gets you to my PO box, which would be awesome. And we would love to have giveaway stuff. Don't send me ink. That's the only rule. If you want to send stuff for giveaway, I'm for it. Don't send me ink. Brad, the spoke icon prototypes have provided me so much joy. Thanks to you and Brian. Thank you so much, Slumberland Studio. I am really liking it. On the last chaos pin, would you do a reveal? If you win it and tell me to open it, I will do a reveal. Why not ink? Because I can't validate how they were stored. Unless they're like really, really unpackaged. We're going to have a longer stream? No, not today. I'm whipped. I am whipped. So yeah. And plus, ink is hard to ship to people anyway. You ship it to me, I ship it to someone else. That's just like we're just asking a lot out of the Postal Service. <laughs> that is a pain in the bootay. 
All right, let's pick a winner. Mickey. Mickey, you are the winner. You are the winner. Oh, yeah, paper's great. Elemental paper is awesome. I still use one of their notebooks. Yeah, that's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, let's pick. Not that. Let's pick this. That one. That's the one. Do you like that? Do you like that randomness? Do you like that randomness in there? All right. I will ship these later this week. Let me write this down. I have a metric ton of elemental notebooks. They're really good. They did a good job. I wish they still made notebooks. Maybe three-time winner? Nice. Seemed like there was a pretty recent one too, right? Was it a chaos? I think we've had at least one two-time chaos winner. One double chaos. Well, Elemental no longer makes notebooks, so that's kind of the kicker. That's kind of the kicker. They did a Kickstarter, and then they rolled into their own business, and then they went out of business. Or went out of business. They stopped uh, doing what they were doing. So, all good, though. <clears throat> all right. Yeah, I know. Unfortunately, we all have to use the thousand and one notebooks we already own, right? Right, chat? So, whatevs. Whatevs. All right, I'm going to wrap it today. Um, I need to go chill for a bit. I, I'm, like, not even joking when I'm, like, completely wiped. So, we're going to go raid someone we haven't in a long time, and that's Calyx. Uh, they're usually streaming later. And now they are on this morning, so we're going to go hang out. Why isn't this? If Twitch will allow me. Come on. Wow. We may not be raiding Calyx. Thank you all for hanging out. Sorry we couldn't go longer today, but some days it's those days, right? Some days it is just those days. I literally, oh, here we go. We can do this the old fashioned way. Let's see if this works. All right, that channel is intended for mature audience. Is Calyx cusses and it's awesome. Y'all should go hang out. They're great. Have fun. See y'all tomorrow. <laughs>